recently mint 20 was released and uh, it is packed with ton of new features so in this guide i'm gonna show you how you can install mint 20 in your computer or in your virtual machine so hello guys my name is taksha rajput and this is linux s2 and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can install linux mint so let's get started so first of all you want to do you want to go to the linuxmint.com and here you can simply click on this download link and this will show you these three options here so mint comes in three different desktop environment and one is cinnamon the another one is mate and xfce so you can choose the one you want and if you're not sure which one is best for you then simply go with the cinnamon so click on cinnamon and uh, here you get so many links and uh, you can choose your country from here and uh, if your country is not listed then you can go with this world edition and click on this link this will start to download the iso file the operating system iso file which is necessary for installing the mint linux 20 so you can download it from here or you can also download from the torrent so if you have a, like a really, really fast internet then you can go with the torrent because with the torrent you can uh, get maximum downloading speed so it's on you how you want to download the iso file so for the simplicity i have already downloaded the iso file so here is the iso file and it is a cinnamon edition and it's 64 bit so the installation process for the system like you want to install as a primary operating system or you want to install it under the virtual machine is completely same there is a little difference and the difference is that if you want to install in the system as a main operating system then you have to have a pen drive or dvd drive so dvd drive are obsolete nowadays so we usually use the pen drive and uh, inside that pen drive we have to kind of configure the iso file so that is done using the application so this application does basically makes a pen drive bootable so that we can install a new operating system in the system so you can go with the balena hr application so this will allow you to make your pen drive bootable so simply download the iso plug in your pen drive and download this application to make that pen drive bootable so that you can install the mint in your system so the application is relatively very simple you can simply select the iso file from here for example this is the iso file and uh, then you can select your pen drive so my pen drive is automatically deducted this is kingston data traveler now you can simply click on flash and this will make the pen drive bootable this way you can make your pen drive bootable and uh, continue with the installation so simply plug in the pen drive in your system and uh, boot it and you will see a screen so that screen i'm going to show you with the virtual box and from there the installation process is completely same so in the virtual box what do you need to do if you want to install in the virtual box you can simply download the iso file after that you can hit this new button here here you have to specify the operating system name i'm going to type linux mint this will automatically select the ubuntu 64 and make sure you have selected linux here so after that hit next then you have to allocate the RAM memory and I'm going to select around 4 gigabytes. The Linux Mint is a very light operating system so it can run even on a 1 gigabyte RAM. So if you have a very old computer you can install Linux Mint and it will work just fine. Hit the next and again next and uh, next. Here make sure you select the dynamically allocated memory. This will not fill up the memory at once. It will gradually fill as the memory size increase in the virtual disk here you have to specify the storage so make sure you specify above 15 gigabytes so i'm going to select here around uh, 15 and i'm going to click create so this will create the virtual disk drive configuration files here and i can simply double click on it or i can start from here and here i have to choose the iso file that i had downloaded earlier so you can click on add and select the iso file and uh, make sure it is selected here click on choose and click on start button this will show you a uh, installer window here you have some bunch of option just uh, select this start linux mint so this will be same when you will plug in your pen drive into the computer and uh, boot from it so the installation part will be exactly same from here whether you want to install it as a primary operating system in the computer or as a virtual drive and virtual box is available on all linux distribution operating systems like windows mac os so you can install it on any of them so i can select this option here and hit enter 
this will simply start the operating system and uh, this is really cool part about Linux because you can check out the application you can check out the operating system before even installing it so I can hit the control key to move this window and uh, here I can simply go through the operating system like I can check out the features that are there in the operating system or anything that I want to check before installing the operating system so you can literally use the operating system so here if you want to install then simply double click on this disk icon and this will show you a installer now this is the installer here you have to choose your language so I'm going to select English and so this is the English hit the continue select the keyboard if you do not use the English default keyboard then you can go with the specified keyboard for your country and uh, click on continue. This will show you this option to install media codec. So if you want to install the media codec you can select this option and hit continue. Media codec basically allows you to play all kind of videos and audio files. Now this is very crucial part if you are installing it in a main hard drive. So here you have to make the partitions or you have to choose the partition. So if you want to fresh install the operating system then you can simply click on this erase disk and install Linux Mint. This will format your hard drive. So for example you have a 1 TB of hard drive then this will erase the disk so every data will get lost and this will create a partition this will create around two partition I think one for swap and one for the main operating system and uh, there will be no additional partition so there will be only single usual partition but if you want to have different partitions and you want to install the operating system on a particular partition then you can click on something else so this is a virtual drive here you don't have to worry about that you can simply check this mark and hit install now or you want to fresh install in the whole hard disk then you can also select this option and click on install now but in case you want to create partitions then click something else and uh, continue here this will show you the hard disk and you can simply create partitions here so you have to create two at least partitions so one is for swap and uh, another one for your operating system so to create partition you have to select your hard disk from here then click on new partition and uh, this will create a new partition basically so you have to create a swap partition and a ext partition then click on install now because it's a virtual drive so i'm going to go back and click on erase disk and install linux mint click on install now and uh, this will show me that uh, it is going to create two partitions and uh, here's the list so i can simply accept it and uh, click on continue button here you have to choose your time zone so i'm in india so i can select my map here and click on continue now you have to specify your computer details for example my name so i'm going to specify and uh, i can also specify my computer name i can specify a username so i can type then you can specify your password and then click on continue so at this stage the files from the ISO file are being copied into your hard disk so basically it's installing the operating system Mint Linux in your computer just wait for some time and the installation will complete so just wait for the installation process to complete and uh, we will continue from that so I'm going to fast forward the video So the installation has completed now what you can do you can simply hit the restart button and uh, the system will restart it's a virtual machine so the virtual machine will restart and uh, similarly your physical computer will also restart and this will show you this window to remove the installation medium so this has no installation medium which is why i do not have to do anything but uh, in case uh, when you will be installing with the pen drive or dvd drive you can simply remove it from the computer and then hit the enter button and this will boot the system again and now you will see the login screen here you have to type your password then simply hit enter and this will start your computer so now everything is done simply hit the x here minimize this window and start using the computer from here so this was the complete process about how you can install Linux Mint 
20 in a computer or a virtual drive i hope you find this video helpful and if you have any question or you are running into any problem then do not forget to ask in the comment section below i will be happy to assist you so till then take care and keep enjoying linux and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye